Hi, today I will be teaching you a new feature called split. So for teaching this feature, what I need to do is I need to open an existing part. Okay, so that existing part will be in open and as if you remember I made a sweep profile, you know earlier, so it open the same thing. Okay, and uh, what I can see is I made a sweep as you remember. So what I will do is I will open this thing and there are two sketches one sketch and two sketch this is the line this is this rectangle as you can see in orange over here and this is the line so in the line I will edit this sketch okay and this is the line and I will make it normal okay what I will do is I will edit as you know so again I will select the line and then click here and then from here sorry close it and uh, control Z control Z okay again select the line and click here okay and then start drawing a zoom out line and over here somewhere I will end it okay so now right click and end chain okay now back now you can see my sweep profile I wanted this kind of structure that's why particularly I did this thing okay now insert features and split option is remaining to teach you so I will click split in split what is the option called split and how it acts you know from this edge from this surface I want to do a split so I will select this surface left click okay and then I will select cut part when I do cut part look what happens is cut part three cuts are being formed now how are the cuts and how the cuts look first of all look at body one this is body one this becomes the body two and this becomes the body three so it means it splits from here because look this is the surface and uh, look uh, let us assume an imaginary line which passes from this surface which is from here to here it is splitting so it is dividing this whole structure into three parts if a line passes from here this part becomes the body 2 okay this part is not joined with this part so it becomes body 1 and this is a third part so it splits the whole part into three parts again to tell you one thing where this option will be necessary not in the manufacturing sections but if you work for any prototyping companies where parts are very long in length and you want to accommodate into a single build then definitely you can split in such a way and it might help it might help you this is one of the applications now select look one body is being selected this body one this becomes the body two and this becomes the body three now here you can auto assign names when you click auto assign names here you can change the names like whatever name you want to change for this part a part b part c or anything here i click there so the default templates are not valid the problems can be resolved by correcting the default templates under the options dialog you want to continue with the blank template cancel okay so i don't want it cancel cancel okay you can auto assign names that's all right that can be done when you do cut part okay the parts are splitted and when you click ok it will remain as three parts like this now there are three parts this is one part this becomes the second part and this becomes the third part now when you open the solid bodies you will see three splits earlier there was only one one common file here what happens is look when you click left click okay it gets selected and left click and this is hide you can hide this thing now again I want here I can click on hide and I can hide this thing so now I can see only one part now with this one part for example I, I did not want 
I don't want the other two parts I want only this part so in this case what to do is you can just file and then save as when you save as you will see you save it anywhere and you see only this part so this is one of the method to save as for example if we don't want the other two parts we can save as in this method now show it again show it I want to see the complete assembly now after seeing it what if you want to delete something you want to delete one of the part how to delete it so you can just right click on this thing and then you can see if you find some any delete options delete body left click split I want to delete this split one yes you can delete it another option to delete is uh, through the tree if you get this tree over here you can delete in earlier SOLIDWORKS version earlier versions you can find a tree and from that tree you can delete but here in new SOLIDWORKS it is quite easy right click delete body simple so this is the body which you have deleted now again what if I do control Z yes now I can get back my all the three parts now let's say I don't want this split I will delete this split delete yes now it becomes a complete part look this becomes a complete part sweep now what if I want to split it in another fashion so again let's say insert features split now earlier I split it from this end now I split from this end from this end now how many cuts it would be it would be the line will pass from here which means again there will be one cut this will be the second cut and this will be the third cut cut part three cuts look one cut this is the second cut and this is smallest cut which is the third cut so here you can auto assign names you can cut in another fashion not only that you can cut from this ends you can also cut from this edges or this edges any edges whatever you like auto assign names I click here you need to make a template and then I will make ok and then a default template uh, will be made here auto assign names body one solid part so here you can say uh, just close it you can say it's you know this becomes body two or whatever you can whatever you name you want to save it double click change the name to A or anything save it it becomes uh, show you split part solid part save A it becomes A very simple this is uh, simplest thing you can do you can change the names okay close it close this thing so in this way you can split parts and uh, what this this is a part which is made by me so here not only with the lines but you can split with circles also it depends on your part how your part is for example this is complete solid and you want to split it you so how you split is you can make a circle and then split the part you can do various things with this okay so you import an assembly and you want to split something yes definitely you can do it thanks so this was everything about split